Here I am, crouching in the gravel, next to this shady spot underneath one of our benches. And I want to talk to you about um, a sundew. I've always joked that you don't call them sundews for no reason. And that's because they need a lot of sun. If you're a sundew at home, stop making dew. It probably needs more sun. Um, an exception to that rule is what we call the Three Sisters um, from Queensland. Queensland, Australia. Um, those are Adele, Shizandra, and Prolifera. Uh, I've got Adele here. Maybe... Another video, we'll show you some others. But this is Drosera adele. These grow in kind of um, a semi-tropical, warm area of northern Australia. And they very often grow kind of understory, which is really weird for a sundew. But you can see, even under the bench here, on a shady day, or a rainy day in February, they're still totally covered in dew. So, if you've tried a Cape Sundew in a kind of dark window cell and you didn't have much luck, maybe try a Drosera Adele. These are super beautiful ones, and these are the actual ones that we're selling. So, if you order one, this is what we'll send. It's a really beautiful thing like this. Another thing to talk about is their affinity for humidity. That's why we have them domed even on a rainy day like this. And so, they're best grown in like a cloche or a little terrarium or in a jar or something like that to keep the humidity high and keep them really super dewy. And you can grow them in more light. Uh, if you've already got some sundews in a really sunny spot, you can put an Adele there too. Again, they'll like the higher humidity, but if you grow them in uh, stronger light, they'll just redden up and be a little bit more compact, but still beautiful.